Hi, I'm Shannon Heaton, and this is the 2023 edition of the Tune of the Month, where I take a different tune and break it down phrase by phrase for easy learning. Irish music is a social practice. It's great to learn tunes from somebody else. So here I am, ready to teach you this month's tune. The June Tune of the Month is the Copper Plate Number 2. There are two tunes called the copper plate, the copper plate number one in G major, and the copper plate number two in A minor. They're oftentimes played in a set in that order. The A minor one, the one that I'm about to show you, is also called, I think, the old copper plate. So this ties into a question that I have frequently. How do you put tunes together in sets? The very quick answer to that is you take two tunes or you take three tunes and you put them together in a set. You might need to think about how the one tune ends and how the other tune begins to figure out how to make a clean change from the one to the other. But that's kind of how it goes. It's a highly subjective practice. And so something that might sound great to you might not be somebody else's first call. But you know, uh, it's up to you. The world is your oyster in putting sets together for the most part. You just got to make sure to get cleanly from the one into the other. Another way to assure that you can do this cleanly is to pick an historic set, to choose something that people have traditionally played together, you know, one into the other. This way, it's probably a good sign that this set works or subjectively is embraced by a number of people. And it also assures that uh, if you're playing with other people, if you put these two tunes together, you'll probably make a pretty good change together because you all know where you're going. So anyway, here is the copper plate set. I'm going to play the first, uh, the, I'm going to play the A minor tune for you, teach that to you first, and then we'll put them together in a set. Here we go. One, two. <laughs> So if you're not sure where to breathe, sometimes in these tunes that kind of have a lot of notes that are really very danceable, um, breathing after a downbeat can be a good idea, such as. Right, I was kind of exaggerating where I was breathing to show you where. Okay, so here's the tune, phrase by phrase. One, two. That's one time through the A part. And now we're on to the second time through the A part. The second time through the A part. I end on A, 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 C, A, A, versus the first time around I went to get us back. Mm. So notice those endings. Here we are in the B part. Do 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 do
do do la do 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 la do 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 la do do second time It gets back like that. Then we're back to the beginning. Okay, so that is the second copper plate. Now let's look at how these two tunes fit together. The first tune, if you don't already know it, go back to last month's Tune of the Month and learn it or review it. On reviewing that first copper plate, you'll notice that the end of the very end of the tune, to get back to the beginning goes like that. The last time through that first copper plate wheel to get us on to the A minor tune, we're gonna go to make for a very clean transition into the second tune. Cool, huh? All right, so here we go. Twice around each tune, let's go. One, two. <laughs> that was helpful answered maybe a few questions in one go and hope you enjoy those copper plates we will play those at the june 17th virtual guided session as well as the name your tune selection for those of you who have learned the green hills green hills of greenfields of woodford okay hope to see you next month at the tune of the month